Hello everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. And you know guys, lately I have bought probably the prettiest fabric ever. And I'm talking about this beautiful organza fabric. You can see it has like a purple pink magenta base with very pretty blue and green and a little bit purple shift to it. Really, it's a beautiful iridescent fabric. I hope you can see it well on camera, but anyway, we'll take a closer look at it a little bit later. So, I really cannot wait to make something beautiful out of this fabric. And you know, I think I will take Spectra Monster High doll and I will create some sort of a spectral ghost creature somebody very pale, see-through, but at the same time very iridescent, very ghostly looking. I think it will be majestic, really. I cannot wait to start working on it, so let's keep this intro very short. By the way, the new merch. <laughs> if you remember, uh, a couple of months ago I've made the new mini me doll, and the new mini me doll, here she's sitting, uh, wears this kind of a red hoodie or t-shirt long sleeve with this uh, new Papa Natalia logo. So, I decided to make <laughs> this t-shirt for myself. I asked you in that video and many of you also were interested in buying this uh, mini poppin t-shirt. So I've created a bunch of merch with this print. Uh, this one is a regular long sleeve, it's too hot for hoodie right now. But there are hoodies, there are t-shirts in different colors, so please check it out. The link is under this video. So voila! <laughs> Very happy about uh, this t-shirt, wearing the same t-shirt like the mini me, voila, now we're, <laughs> now we're perfectly matching. So, and this being said guys, let's start working, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, hit the like button, hit all the buttons, and this being said, let's start the transformation. So, this is our doll that we will repaint today. I think she looks absolutely amazing with her ghostly face and see-through limbs. Really very beautiful, very special, perfect for the project today. So, let's make her even more beautiful, more special. I hope so, I hope I will be able to at least. And for this I will first have to get rid of her outfit, hair and face. So, let's go.
everything is gone and I can start drawing after sealing her face with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And first of all, I will apply a layer of light nude pastels and then on top of it, I will layer it with light purple and light blue colors. That yellowish first layer will give her kind of, I don't know, gray tint, let's say, after being layered with the next colors. And I want her to look very pale, but not paper white, and also not very bright pastel blue or purple. I want her to be bluish, a little bit with purple tint, but also with a lot of gray in her skin tone. So, I think she will have also very light blue eyes and uh, very pale lips. So, let's draw it all. I want to add some blue veins under her eyes, but not too much. I don't want her to look too scary. I don't want her to look like a zombie, but it will make her skin look almost transparent, almost see-through.
good. I think I'm almost done with her face and now let's work on her body to make it the same color as the face. And I want to keep her hands and feet see-through because I think it really fits the ghostly nature of this project. And after this we will start making the outfit. And now it's finally time for our beautiful fabric. Check it out from close, I tell you. Just the prettiest fabric on this planet. It's, yeah, it's an iridescent organza. I think it will look absolutely beautiful. And I think I know what I want to try to make out of it. And I think I want to make sort of a flower skirt out of different size petals. So let's start with sketching some of the future petals on paper. I don't really know how many I will need of each of them, maybe eight, maybe six, we'll see. Hmm, you know, I tried this paper details on the doll and I think I want to change the shape. It all looks kind of boring and round and, I don't know, flat, not interesting. I wanted to have more pointy shape and I want to make more layers. I thought I would make three layers of those petals, but I will actually make six layers of pointy petals. So and since I've increased the amount of layers, six petals of each size on each layer will be enough. Eight is not needed. So now when I have all the paper details, I can cut them out of fabric. Very good, it all looks already very, very promising. And now I'm going to melt the sides of these organza petals with this candle. I, I took an aroma one to make this process more joyful, more pleasant, more fun, because you know, it will take a while. So it took me a bit over an hour to work on the sides of each petal, now they're all ready and we can attach them to the top. I've made a simple top off camera, check it out, just a regular one with two drafts on the sides. So now it's time to connect the petals to the skirt.
And this is what I've made, guys. Check it out. This is how it looks, the finished dress. I don't know, I think this is the prettiest dress I've ever made. It looks like an actual fairy has left this dress in my studio, really. It looks absolutely unearthly, absolutely beautiful. But now our dress requires a pair of shoes and I want to make a pair of sandals that would look almost invisible on her see-through feet. And for this I will use a piece of see-through thermoplastic and a piece of this iridescent sticker. So I begin with attaching the sticker to the surface of this thermoplastic. I've cut out all the details of the future sandals and now we'll warm them up with a hair straightener, shape them around the doll feet, connect them together, creating a pair of sandals. This is what I've ended up making. They look super shiny and iridescent already here in my hands. And now I want to make transparent flowers using a piece of wire and a gel nail polish with glitter in it. I start with making a flower looking shape out of this wire. I will make five petals. So I go five times around this stick creating five loops. looks like a flower I fill in the empty space with the gel nail polish with glitter in it or you can also use acrylic resin and mix some glitter into it and then cure it with a UV lamp I just already had this nail polish with all sorts of glitter mixed in so I will use this one So this is it guys, these are the finished sandals and I think they look so lightweight and so much, I don't know, nearly non-existent on her feet and at the same time they're super iridescent and shiny so I'm very happy with the end result. 
Now let's move on and work on her hair and for this I will use three colors of acrylic yarn. The main color will be white and I will also add some colorful blue and purple accents to it. I think it will look very pretty with her skin, with her outfit. So let's go and let's first turn this yarn into hair and then we will glue it to the doll's hat. This is it, check it out, the next day the glue is finally dry and I can brush and style it. But actually no, wait, before I style the hair I want to take this iridescent paint and I want to apply it to her face and to the body, not too much, just to the most highlighted spots, it will fit the rest of her very iridescent look, I feel like this step was missing.
then I will give her some sort of a very low, elegant, messy bun. And I will decorate it with another ghostly flower, the same like on her shoes. I have decided to give her a veil made out of this iridescent fabric because with the veil she will look kind of completely covered with this iridescent cloud. I think it will look very pretty. I just need to add false lashes, apply gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished spectral ghost, and I think she looks absolutely amazing, really. The most ethereal doll ever. Honestly, I think she looks like a hologram because of this iridescent color shifting fabric all around her body. Really, she looks almost surreal. I should make more dolls using this fabric because this effect is just very extra. So beautiful. And I also really love her face. She doesn't look scary, but she's absolutely 100% haunted. The blue veins under her eyes work amazingly. I don't know, I think I'm just in love with this doll. She's my favorite at the moment. And what do you guys think? I hope you like her as well. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments under this video. And also, what do you think I should make out of the rest of this iridescent fabric? I still have quite a lot of it, so I'm open for your ideas, your suggestions. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for three days, together with some of my other dolls that were not sold. So, please check out the link in the description box under this video. The dolls are on eBay for three days. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in a new doll makeover, normally next week Friday. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.